Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to generate and create the clock simulation 3D animations in Blender 4.2. And start from now, I'm going to show you all the step by step. Just start from beginning. So this, I'm going to just stop everything and just start a fresh new Blender project. And start from here, I'm going to show you all the step by step. First, what you need to do is just press A and press delete button to delete everything. Next, just add a mesh, add a cylinder. Then, lift it up once, like this. Then, click, press Ctrl A or transform. Then, just make this scale to be small in this way. Alright, next I'm going to duplicate this, click, shift D, escape, rotate it, just rotate it down in this way, maybe I just put it negative 90, and I'm going to make, make sure that this is shorter, so something like this, then I go to set the material, this one I put it red and here I put it blue, it can be any material. So now this one, I'm going to just make it, make it bigger like this, alright, and shorter. I'm going to make the rotation x back to 0, right here. So this is 12 o'clock, but we are going to start everything. So now click and check all already. Clear, there's no location, no rotations. All already zero now. So next, I click the short needle, then this is the rotation X, so Control Z, the rotation X I'm going to set a dep dependency, I'm going to set the driver, just right click, add a driver. Then, this one, move it up, move your mouse cursor to here, drag it down, here, put driver. Alright, then, click the X, click the driver, and have a look. Scroll down, object, you have to choose the, the red one, the red needle long needle then the type will be x rotation then now the expressions this is very important the expressions you just need to put put a bracket like this then in between you put one one per 12 enter now Here, multiply, enter. Once done, done this already, now you can try to rotate this. Now you can see, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. You can see it totally follow. So this one, you can just make it 0. This is a clock simulation. Next is the body of the clock. First, first you need to have this picture. This is just a PNG picture. This is a PNG picture then. Just add a mesh, add a, add a plane, this plane, click and select the material plus new, click image texture, just open from my desktop, the picture is at there, this one, then next, just go to the properties, the object properties, just rotate it 90 degree, and one more 90 degree right here, something like this, zero. All right, now just make it bigger, just press S to, to just make it bigger. And then now we can try to manipulate the red needle. Actually, this is a clock simulation, you can see. Three o'clock, four o'clock, right. 
So actually, you also can just make it auto rotate. Just click the red needle, the rotation X. Just click and type hash frame slash twenty four. Press enter. Right now, this one here you should put a negative. Then play. Alright, so to make it faster, you can just make it, make this as like 5. You can change the speed of the clock. Now this is a clock simulation. Just need to use the driver, if the frame per 1. See? This is a simulation of the clock and if you want to play reverse, just play reverse. Alright. Here, you can adjust the speed frame, then, then it is going to have the speed, different speed, slower speed. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to make a clock simulation 3D animations with 100% accuracy. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!